All right, fuel's low enough. The pet cock is on, which means it has to have vacuum here to, to allow fuel flow. I don't have any fuel here right now because the tank is lower than this. And so the fuel pump's gonna have to suck if it's gonna run. Well, it'll start on what fuel is in the carburetor fuel bowl, but then I'll have to let it run for a little bit and see if see if it ever runs out of fuel or if it just keeps on running. <clears throat> and then this line here goes straight to the carburetor. And this is actually my choke right now because um, the choke cable's messed up. So I chopped off the end, left the plunger in the carburetor, and this way it still allows me to have choke. And the uh, carburetor works correctly, but uh, it doesn't uh, doesn't work on the handlebar. So anyway, I'm going to try to set the camera over here and see if I can get it to start, and we'll see if it keeps running. Alright, so I'm back to working on this King Quad. Um, last night, I hooked up the fuel pump. I figured out that they had to cover the fuel pump on wrong, which won't allow it to, to suck fuel. And uh, after that, I hooked up the lines, and I had, had some fuel on the carburetor bowl, and I got it started, and it sat there and run not very long until it sucked all the fuel out of the bowl and then it died and wouldn't start back so I, I thought the fuel pump I guess I thought well I guess it is bad and uh, I thought maybe that's why they had it apart <clears throat> well while I was at the house last night I got to thinking and I thought well maybe I didn't have the the actual inlet on the inlet of the fuel pump because there is an inlet and an outlet it only flows one way and uh, I knew that but for some reason I, I didn't pay any attention to it I thought the fuel pump was on the on the four-wheeler in the correct orientation because you can you can see the the bends in the hoses and they line up right and uh, so anyway I, I came down here after work today and uh, sure enough I had the inlet on the outlet of the fuel pump and the outlet on the inlet and obviously that didn't work so let's see i believe it says inlet on the back side probably won't be able to see it but it's right on the back side of this hose on a little flat spot right right here but anyway i got the cover on right and i got the hoses hooked up right now and the petcock is on and the fuel fuel in the tank is probably oh maybe around here it's it's lower than this fuel pump and definitely lower than the carburetor so i actually cranked on a little bit earlier after i got that done i didn't have my camera down here with me but uh i cranked on it for a while i never could get it get it to start for a little bit because of the the carburetor bowl didn't have any fuel in it and the prime position wouldn't really help me because it didn't have enough to gravity flow to the carburetor. And I don't have a battery on it. And my little jumper cables are in my truck up at the house. And I didn't want to walk up there and get them. <clears throat> so anyway, I, I cranked at it for a while and kept shooting a little brake clean, which would fire it off for a few seconds. And uh, I pulled the hose off the outlet of the fuel pump and noticed it started pumping fuel pretty quick, actually. So I just kept cranking it and... It finally got enough in the bowl to keep running and I started it up and let it sit there and idle for at least five minutes and uh, never missed a beat run perfect so anyway um, that's probably about all I'm gonna fool with it for tonight but I'm really glad to have that fixed that means I don't have to buy a fuel pump and I think the reason the fuel pump was ever apart 
was because they were having issues getting fuel to the carburetor for some reason and uh, so they decided to pull the tank after they I guess they must have looked at the fuel pump first but they didn't put the cover back on right so they the reason this whole thing is apart is because you have to pull the engine on this to get the gas tank out according to the manual and that's what they did and uh, so anyway that's why it's apart and uh, I guess that's also why they had had the fuel pump apart and put it back together incorrectly. But I don't know what the problem was, but it doesn't seem to have a fuel starvation issue now. So I'm going to try to set the camera down, and uh, it's still warm from running. I had it run about 30 minutes ago. But I'm going to give it a couple of yanks and see if it'll start up and just let you all listen to it real quick. Well, the engine runs excellent. That's one of the main reasons I've decided to put it back together instead of trying to part it out or something. Because it it doesn't have any issue at all running. So it's uh, the frame is in good condition on it and stuff. So I, other than the, really the body, I think will be the worst part of it, and that just doesn't look that good. But as far as being a solid reliable four wheeler, I think it'll be a good one. But anyway, let's see, maybe you can see that the hub moving in the in the wheel bearing or what's left of the wheel bearing. A different angle on it. That's one of the the first things I have to work out after I get some wheels for the back or one wheel. <clears throat> so anyway. I'm not going to keep rambling, but I just wanted to update that uh, I did get the fuel pump figured out, and it works good now, so it pays to pay a little attention to what you're doing sometimes, and uh, make sure that they haven't things haven't been messed with previously and just putting together wrong. It was a little bit of an issue of me not paying good enough attention, and the fact that it had been apart before, so anyway, thanks for watching, I'll talk to you later.